for our praise and worship team. Yeah. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Let's give a hand for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Because if it wasn't for him, there would be no need for any of us to be here. It is a privilege to stand here on behalf of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because I know that through his sacrifice, the Father has won so many of us today. And the only reason why we should be here well, is to give honor and glory to him. That's right. Now, if by any chance you did not know this before, you know it now. Amen. All right. You may have come because you heard that they have great meals at the end of the service. <laughs> you may have come because they told you that you can fill up your bottle with as much punch as you want. <laughs> You may have come because you know that you needed to just get up under these beautiful canopies and get away from the scorching heat for a little while. You may have been here because you love to hear the praise and worship. But I need you to understand something here. You're here. You're here. Because God has brought you here. Amen. We can open this up to debate if you want to, but let's let's just fix this right now. There will be no debate. All right. Because the Bible tells us that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So guess what? We might as well practice now. We might as well accept his offer now. Rather than to try to accept when it's too late. Because when you cross over from this life into the next life, you can't accept him in the next life if you have not accepted him here. Hmm. Well, <laughs> this is Love LA, isn't it? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. He came not into the world to condemn the world, hear me, <laughs> but that the world through him might be saved. So come on. Why are we here? It should only be for one reason. To give honor and glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now let's give him another hand. All right. Y'all ready? How we do it, love LA? How we do it up here? Fasten your seat belt. Because we're going to an altitude. It might get a little shaky up in here. You hear me? We're going for a ride. Oh, you better hear me now. <laughs> I'm not the captain. Well, I'm just a co-pilot. Well. <laughs> And the pilot's name is Jesus. Amen. Okay? All right. So anyhow, did you pack your baggage? No. <laughs> no. That's all right. That's all you need. That's all you need right here. This is called the sword. The sword of the spirit. 
The sword is, is the word of God. Earlier this morning, I was preaching at my own uh, church. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I'm the pastor of Oil Fields Ministries over in Silver Lake area. And I was talking to them about the fact that many times we're in a journey called life. Amen. Soldier, come here. I need you. Stand right here, please. Now, I happen to know this sister right here. Come on, hon. Come on. You come over here on this side. Now, watch this. That speaker right there is my beginning of life. Okay? That speaker over there is my ending. Okay? In this journey, we're trying to fulfill purpose. Correct? Right. Okay. So now God gives me an assignment. And God says, I want you to walk up right before me. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay? So I'm 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 doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. What's your name, brother? Stacy. And then Stacy comes over and says, Pastor George. Glad to meet you. I wanna I'm, I'm, I wanna walk along with you on the journey okay so come on Stacy give me the other hand Stacy and I we're gonna take this journey you see come on we walking up here right now hold up for one second now here comes my sister over here okay and she 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 yells out to me and says pastor I need you Okay? Now, hold on. Yeah, come on. I just want you to hold the mic. Okay. Come on, girl. Okay, now. You see my sister here? She says, I need you. Okay? Now, remember... I'm trying to get from there to there. And I got this far. This is almost the middle, right? Okay, now, you ready, Stacy? Let's keep going. Now, watch this. Whatever you do, do not let me get away. You stay right there, okay? All right, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. It's a big man right here. And look at this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Do you see what happened to me? What happened to me? I got stuck. I got held up. Well, some people know this. I got hemmed up. Oh, Jesus, help me now. <laughs> so now, for a minute, I decided that I want to accommodate you, young lady. Y'all feel me, right? Okay, so now watch this. Then one day I came to my senses and I realized I'm supposed to be accomplishing my purpose in life. So as a result, watch what happens. You ready, Stacy? Come on, let's go. Did you see what just happened? You see what happened? What did I do? I let go. Stay here, hon. Have a, have a seat. You stay here. Now watch this. Notice what I just did to him. What did I do to him? You held out. You held out. I stopped him. He's waiting on me. Why'd you stop? Exactly. Why are you holding on? Who am I? Don't you have your assignment? Let go. Let go. Let go. 
<laughs> you see, Stacy had to let go of pastor. In order to achieve, go on, get on over there. <laughs> you see now? Now here I am all by myself, and I have to make up my own decision that guess what? I am going to run this race. Amen. No matter. No matter what it takes. Well. Even if I got to put this mic down, watch me. Say it loud. I made it. Amen. All right. All right. Okay. Did you did you get anything from that demonstration? Amen. The only reason why God wants you to see that demonstration, kind of hot up here. I'm kind of hot. Uh, sound sound. I'm kind of hot. The only reason why the Lord wants you to see this demonstration is because it's very important that when you come here when you come here pay attention to what the man or woman of God is saying right because I'm not talking well God is speaking he's just using me as a vessel right. to speak to you right okay and if you will do exactly what he tells you to do then guess what? You will achieve what you were unable to achieve prior to hearing what I had to say. Well, okay, let's get back to the, to the to our word. If you got your Bible, that's good. If you don't have your Bible and you've got one of these bulletins, you're still good. Oh, amen. That's your thing around and go get it. Because what I want you to do is go to Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10, and we're going to read from verse number 33. Right, you go to the first page, go to cover. Matthew 10, verse 33. Y'all there? Okay, let's read. Now, I'm reading, the Bible I'm going to read from right here is a little different than what you're... Um, I'll tell you what. Let's read the program. Let's all be on the same page. That's right. Matthew 10, 33. It says here, But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Wow. That's deep. Somebody up front said that's deep. <laughs> that's real deep. I'll tell you what's deeper than that. Uh-oh. <laughs> what's deeper is to hear him say this wow. and not obey. Well, that's real Come deep. on now right now. That's, that's hard. Come on now. Okay. If you were sleeping, you just woke up. <laughs> Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you and praise you for this opportunity to hear you. Oh my God, Father, we love you. Thank you, God. We love you because you first loved us. And you sacrificed for us. You've given us your Holy Spirit. Now, Holy Spirit, we ask that you will speak to us. You will impregnate us with your living word. So that your plan and your purpose will be manifested in each one of our lives. We ask you this in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, I thank you and I praise you, Lord, that your word says that he that has ears to hear, let them hear. So, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you anoint each and every person right now. I pray that you protect each and every person's ear gate and eye gate. That they will hear and see nothing but you at this moment. I ask you this in Jesus' name, amen. To stand here and to share this word. You should see how it is when God gives me the word. Well, I know that's right. Because before I can deliver the word, he gives it to me first. Right. <laughs> you think this word is for you. Uh -huh. It's for us. All of it. That's right. And it comes to me first. Yeah. Which means 
that whatever is out of order in my life, well, I got to get it together first. So let me just kind of help you see something here. I'm receiving the word from God and suddenly I find myself to my knees. Because I realize, oh wretched man that I am. Right, right. Oh, but pastor, you're the pastor. Shoot, come on. You're a righteous man of God. Right. We know that you are anointed. We know that you do great things for God. Oh, but I got news for you. Yep, I'm a right. One day I will stand before God. And the one thing I don't want to hear him ever say to me, Woo! depart from me, you who work iniquity. I never knew. I never knew you. That's deep. So I just want to qualify something here. And I want you to know that I'm not here to play bit, play games with you. Come on. I'm not here to embrace you and say, oh, you want an extra sandwich? <laughs> I'll tell you who I am. I am George Selman, who had to check in to the Union Rescue Mission well, in 2008, who lived down here in Skid Row and know exactly what it is you're going through. Come on. Well, you're and God delivered me. God set me free. Thank you. God anointed me to represent Him and speak for Him for your behalf. All right. All right. Don't tell me I don't understand what you are going through. <laughs> and yet, listen to me carefully. I'm going to go back to the text in a second here. You're going to see how it all comes together. Okay? You remember when, when Jesus spoke to Peter? Yeah. yeah. Listen to what he said. Peter. Satan desires to have you, have you. Sift you as to wheat. sift you as wheat. That's wheat. That's right. But I prayed for you Jesus. that your faith faileth not. And when you are converted, strengthen your brothers. Yeah. It would be wrong for me to have received my blessing and to just say, bye bye, see you later. That's right. That's and right. never ever see me again. Right. It would be wrong for me to do that. Come on now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So therefore, I made a promise to Daddy. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'll tell you what, Daddy. I'll take as many as I can with me. How's that? That's awesome. You know, you know Joshua? Yeah. Joshua? What did God tell Joshua to do? Joshua told his servant to lead his people to the promised land. Come on. You better hear me. I hear Come you. On. Come on, let's get back to our, to our sermon here. Let's go to 2 Timothy. Before I go there, let me just uh, focus on a word here. We read um, Matthew. Matthew 10, 33, and it says, But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Now, we're talking about the word deny. In that word deny, you also find the word, um, you can also acquaint that to the word denial. All right. In other words, you're either denying or you're, or you're in denial. <laughs> Let me give you the Webster definition of deny. It says, state that one refuses to admit the truth or the existence of it. Wow. For an example, they deny any responsibility for the tragedy that took place. Uh -huh. Okay? There's also another, um, there's a cinnamon that says, um, Deny the, the cinnamon. The synonym is to contradict. 
Right. To challenge, to contest, to oppose. To challenge, I ain't got a problem. Oh my God. <laughs> To contradict, I love you. Stabbed you in the back. But I still stabbed you in the back, didn't I? All right now. We're gonna go someplace with this. To refuse to give or to grant. Will you help me? No. Will you go with me? No. That's deny. Pretty much. My original question is, do you have a problem? No. In denial. <laughs> but watch this. The children of Israel had a problem. They were, in a, they were in the wilderness for 40 years. Wow. Why were they in the wilderness for 40 years? Because they were in denial. In denial. Mm -hmm. For 40 years. <laughs> Let me tell you what their action of denial was. <laughs> She's quiet today. <laughs> the action of, of, of denial was... You ready? Unbelief. Right. Unforgiveness. Oh my God. Hatred. Jesus. It gets worse. And we go on and on and on. To refuse, to reject, to decline, to veto, to dismiss. Or straight out in, 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 the, in, in the 21st century vernacular to this. Yeah. Oh. Woo! Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know how we do it. Talk to the hair. Talk to the hair. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We can get so close, but when I start speaking the truth, and the truth begins to hurt. Uh -huh. Then you cut me off. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's denial. Are you ready? Okay, now let's turn to Second Timothy, chapter two. Ooh, you should have been three. That's <laughs> real deep. I know, but three is deep. And we're gonna read uh, verses eight through thirteen. Don't forget, I said we're going someplace. I'm already dead. Now, this is what the Word of God says. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, descendant of David, according to my gospel, for which I suffer hardship, even to, to imprisonment, as a criminal. But the Word of God is not imprisoned. For this reason, I endure all things for the sake of those who are chosen. Oh, you better hear me. Yeah that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus and with it eternal glory. Isn't that what I just said earlier? Yes, sir. It is a trustworthy statement for if we died with him, well, we shall also live with him. That's right. That's right. That's the word. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. Right. Now here it is now. Here we go. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. Now here it is. If we deny him, he also will deny, deny, deny us. us. That's hard. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. For he cannot deny himself. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That was good. So, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stress this again. If we deny him, he also will deny us. That's deep. So, we're on this journey called life. 
And all of a sudden, something, some mishap happens. Well. Maybe a death in the family. Yeah. A, 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 a loved one. Maybe a divorce. Okay? That's real, too. Maybe a breakup. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or you just lost everything. You lost your home. You lost your SRO. Ooh. You lost your purse. I mean, really? Somebody jacked you and, 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 and you can't find your EBT card. I'm not playing. I'm, I, I, it may sound funny, but these things are real. It's real. Come on. These things are real. Because I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because see, that EBT card to you may be just as important as that American Express card is to my brother over here. All right. Now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The word of God says that where a man's heart is. So is he. Hello? 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 Come on. Hello. Right there. <laughs> I was waiting for the correction. Where the man's love is, that's where his love, that's where his heart is. Right, pretty much. Okay? So for years, you've been collecting. <laughs> you know that at a certain time in the month, you can depend on that that money transferring into that account, correct? Right, right, right. So you learn to live off of that. Now all of a sudden there's something happens on the computer system and 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 everything goes out of whack. And now all of a sudden you can't even make you can't access nothing. And because of that, not only do you have a few choice words, well. <laughs> but your action it's a total contradiction. Mm. Total contradiction to what you were doing today in the middle of praise and worship. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I hear you, man. So I need you to understand something here. Is that this word denial is very important. Do you know life and death is in the power of your tongue? Oh my God, yes. That's real. <laughs> Let's go to a story here. Where'd he go? Wow. Let's go to a story here, and this is going to help you uh, have a, a good illustration of, of what I'm talking about. Matthew 26. <coughs> Some of you know about this story here. Now listen, listen carefully to this. Matthew 26. We're going to begin with verse 30 through 35. <laughs> I love when this happens. Okay, watch this. And after singing the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Make sure we're there. Yeah, okay. Then Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night, for it is written. I will strike down the shepherd, oh and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. But Peter answered and said to him, Even though all, my, all may fall away because of you, I will never fall away. Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you that this very night before a cock crows, you shall deny me three times. Peter said to him, even if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. All the disciples said the same thing too. Right. Now as we continue verses 69 through 75, Let's listen to see what happened. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard and a certain servant girl came to him and said, you too were with Jesus the Galilean. By the way, just so that y'all have an understanding of what we're doing here. Jesus is a time of his arrest. Right. Jesus is about to go to the cross. Right. This is his hour. Yeah. Okay. And you're talking about it's hot up in here. Well, it was hot up in here. I'm talking about pressure. Yeah. I know. Okay. 
I'll tell you something. You don't know nothing about yourself, not until the pressure Ooh. is put on you. Come on. So I got news for you. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Everybody's so composed so well. Everybody's so, they smiling and, oh my God. Oh, I really just love you, Pastor George. Wait till the pressure comes. But let some pressure come. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And this is what Jesus knew all along. That's why he said what he said. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> I hear you, Pastor. No. <laughs> But he denied it before them, all saying, I do not know what you are talking about. And when he had gone out to the gateway, another servant girl saw him and said to those who were there, this man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. And a little later, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, surely you too are one of them. For the way you talk gives you away. Then he began to curse and swear. Oh, he didn't do that. <laughs> he began to shut up. No, he did not. He began to curse and swear. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. This is a man that walked with Jesus for three years. Wow. <laughs> Y'all hear me? Then he began to curse and swear. I do not know the man. And immediately the cock crowed. And Peter remembered the word which Jesus had said, Before a cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Now that brings me to the title of this sermon. Deny, deny, deny. Why, why is it so important that God would, 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 would speak to you about this. Because he knows gonna, at some point you're gonna deny him. You're gonna deny him. Yeah. Mm. Alright now. The pressure's on, folk. Come on, Jesus. Even if you are an Olympic player. The pressure of winning. You better hear me now. Come on. Do we have any bodybuilders? <laughs> the pressure of winning. I think I'll go ahead and take that, that steroid. <laughs> Last time I checked, steroids were illegal. Illegal. All right. But I, but this 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 this, this metal. And, and all the endorsements in this purse that I'm about to receive is more important. So I'm going to deny mm -hmm. the rules that have been set before me. Uh -huh. The warnings. Oh, somebody hear me now. Right. The warnings. That's the word right there. The warnings. Yes, the warnings, somebody. Today, God is warning somebody wow. because tomorrow is not Promise. promised to you. All right, now. Oh, by the way, I do officiate at funerals, by the way. Y'all know that? <laughs> but I got news for you. There is not one body, there's not one body that I have not been able to resurrect from the dead. Yes, sir. I have not been able to do that. Oh, okay. I could say yet. Yet. Yeah. I could say yet. Yeah, you can. But that'll be in God's time. Right. That's right. That's right. But again, what am I saying here? Sooner or later, you're going to deny if you haven't already. Some of you are here because of that reason. Wow. You have denied something in life that has got you here. That's right, that's right. How much time I got back there? Five minutes. Let, let, let me tell you something. You know, let, watch this, watch this. I, those of you that know me, know that, guess what? There's no shame in my game. I know, that's right. Come on. 
I will open up this shirt and I'll let you see what is inside. I Okay, here it is. You want to see? Yeah. Okay, watch this. As I mentioned, I stayed here in 2008 right. at this mission. Now, I know I stayed at that mission because God told me to come there. Right. I didn't have a, 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 a drug or alcohol condition. I didn't have none of that. But I was disobedient to what God called me to do. Oh my God. That's real. Like I said, I got to keep it real with you. I was still disobedient. Right. So, what's the difference between me being a Jonah? Oh my God. God told Jonah, go to uh, Nineveh. Nineveh, right? Right. Where did he find him? On a boat. On his way to Tarshish. Right. Well, uh, the will. <laughs> God told somebody to go to Cleveland, and you said, "No, I'm staying in L.A." Oh. And you find yourself down here in Skid Row, don't even know why you can't get out. Oh my God. All right. You no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. I just put that out there. So, <laughs> if that is your case, then <laughs> you can just run with it. Okay. This time, you got to get over here now. All I'm saying is this. There's no difference to me running from what God called me to do and the next person that's here because Come back over here. they found themselves in a condition where they couldn't stop hitting the pipe. Come on up. Or this person over here, they couldn't get away from no, don't say that, Pastor. They couldn't get away from pornography. Okay? Well, this person over here just totally has problems managing their bank account. Okay? Even though God said, Ooh, Jesus, don't do that to me. Amen. Even though God said, give, and it shall be given unto you. Uh -huh. Right. You said, I ain't giving nothing. And can't even understand why there's a disconnect in your finances. Right, right, right. I ain't going there. And it's his anyway. It's, it's a little bit for everybody here, by the way. Did you notice that? All right. Because no matter what, each one of us has a reason why we're here. Amen. Right. And God wants you out of that situation. God that. wants you unstuck. God wants you to be in, wants you immobile again. Yes, God. Oh, Donnie McClurkin, he sang this song. We, we, we fall down, but we get up. But the problem with that is, Many people fall down and stay there. Let's go to John 21, and I'm soon going to wrap it up, okay? All right. Am I helping anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're doing good. John 21. We're at verses 15. Now, this is very critical. If you heard, if you haven't heard anything else listen to this part because one thing I have learned is that it's not so much that we have a problem well the problem with that is many times we don't have a solution oh my God. okay we want to get out but we don't know how to now I want you to see something here. John chapter 21, 15 through 17. So listen to what it says here. 
So when they had finished breakfast, this is after Jesus um, was raised from the dead, by the way. This is after his resurrection. He shows himself, okay? He appears to his disciples, okay, and a few others. Now he has a one-on-one -on -one with Peter, okay? Oh, by the way, the one who denied him. Three times. Three times. Listen to this conversation. So when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord. Peter said that, by the way. You know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my feet. Tend to my lambs. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Shepherd my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Ten, my sheep. <coughs> Peter didn't understand why it was so necessary for Jesus to prolong uh -huh. his, 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 his blessing, right. to prolong his, 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 his releasing him of the mistake that he made. That he made. That's right. But I need you to understand something here. It says here, but whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Oh my God. Here we go. Peter did not deny Jesus once. He denied him three times. He denied him three times. And guess what? Jesus had to deny him before the Father. Wow. Oh, come on. Now. Ooh. That's hard. Well, I didn't say this. I didn't write this. Right. This is God speaking. Wow. That's why it's so important. I know in the past, as I've spoken to you before, we talked about forgiveness before, didn't we? We talked about how important it is for you to forgive the person that hurt you. Right. I don't care how terrible it has been. I do not care. Because it really isn't that serious. Uh, that's right. Wow. You know the angel said to Mary, the mother of Jesus? He said, with man, these things are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So I'm here to tell you this. Deny, deny, deny. And you're saying, Pastor, you just said don't deny. <laughs> I'm glad you're awake. I'm glad you're paying attention. Deny yourself. Preach it. You better go ahead. You better say that. You better go ahead, preacher. That's real. That's real. Because see, the enemy, remember Jesus said before, the thief comes to steal, kill, and, and destroy. destroy. The thief got you all messed, messed all up, up in your head. Mm. And you're thinking that you got to deny Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and he's telling you today, deny yourself. yourself. That's real. Deny this flesh. Deny your emotions. Wow. Come on, bring some on. Deny the addictions. Wow. Because the word of God says, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. The word of God says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. And you walking around, oh, but you don't understand. But you don't understand. I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm an addict. I've been an addict for 26 years. Stop claiming that. Did I not say to you that life and death is in the power of the tongue? Well, yeah. watch what you say. You come here 
for food. You come here for rest. And Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the God, man shall live. Come on. I'm telling you, this is the best kept secret here. The west side. You know what I'm saying? The west side. Everything is beautiful over there. The ocean's over there, you know what I mean? I don't know about anybody else. I love the ocean. I love it so you know how I felt when the Lord brought me down here I was a mess Who you tell me? I don't know nothing but more skin row I ain't got time to tell you my story again but most of you some of you yeah. know my story uh -huh. I don't know nothing but more skin row baby okay <laughs> but the bottom line is this the bottom line is this God wants to restore you. Right. God wants to heal you. Amen. All right. All right. Thank you. We're gonna close with this. <laughs> we were we were there all along and you didn't even realize it. All right. Let's go back to uh, Matthew chapter ten. <laughs> I love when he does this because he blew my mind when he did it with me. Y'all ready for this? Now we just read uh, 33, right? But whoever shall deny me before man, I will also deny him before my Father who is in heaven. Now watch this. Go one verse before that. Okay. Verse 32. That's the answer. Yes. How many of you saw Hunger Games? All right. That's the answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the Verse 32 says, Everyone, therefore, who shall confess me before men, I will also confess him before my Father who is in heaven. All right. Yeah. 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 You would want to all applaud right about now. I'm going to give you one more. Now we're really going to get deep. How am I doing back there? <laughs> I'm good? All right. You shouldn't have said that. I'll give you two more. I'll give you two more. <laughs> Luke 12, 8. Oh, man, I'm, I'm enjoying this meal. That's what I'm talking about. Luke 12, eat 8. Y'all ready? Luke 12, 8 says, And I say to you, everyone who confesses me before men, the Son of Man shall confess him also before the angels of God. Y'all don't hear me. Do you know what that means? There's a divine protection upon you now. Oh, yes, it Ooh, is. Oh, Jesus, help me. Oh, no, don't make me shout. Oh, yeah. Somebody said that the Old Testament is null and void. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? If if the if the Old Testament is null and void, then why does 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 uh, 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 Galatians three twenty nine says, if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs to the promise. Right. Did the promise come to Abraham in in Acts? Did it come to him in in First and Second Corinthians? It did not. <laughs> So I need you to understand something here. You better go on back and do your research. Genesis. You better, you better take another history class. Genesis. Because, by the way, by the way, if you go all the way back to the beginning, well, all the way to the beginning, God said, "And let man have dominion." All right. Let man have dominion. Okay. Not safe. What does that mean? 
that man have authority. Yeah. Where is your authority today? Uh oh, here. Uh oh, you said. Where is your authority? Now. You see what I'm saying? Your authority is in Christ. Yeah. Thank you. Those of you that have accepted him, that is. Uh oh. No, no, no Jesus, no authority. Hello. Come on, come on. Did you did you hear what he said? He says that he would do what? He would confess you before the angels of God, which also means, oh Jesus, help me. <sighs> Satan. Well, Satan is an angel. Uh oh. He is a fallen angel. Fallen and when Satan comes in your face, Jesus comes in between. Yeah. And says, oh no, this is my this is my son. This is my daughter. You can't touch this. Don't, don't touch it. You hear what I'm saying? You can't touch it. Y'all want to come up? Okay. Those of you that really, really, really want to get out of skin row, show me your hand. Okay. Let me tell you a little secret. The Word of God says, let this mind also be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Amen. Is that it? Come on. That's the Word of God. That's the Word of God. Okay? That's the Word of God. And then this is, this is finally the closing, okay? This is it, for real. Revelation. Oh, here we go. oh no, you're going to Revelation. Let him have it. Oh my God. Revelation 3, verse 5. You already Revelation. How many of you know that Jesus is coming again? How many of you know that he's coming soon? Not long. Oh, y'all better hear me. Why do you think that he would speak to you this way? He's telling you to get it right. Very soon. Pack your bags. Consecrate yourself. You better hear me now. Verse 5 says, He who overcomes shall thus be clothed in white garments. And I will not erase his name from the book of life. And I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Close the book. I know who I am in Christ. During my intimate, my most intimate time. And I need you to know that there are intimate times between us where he will actually show me, he will tell me things that are to happen, things that are to come. Wow. And I want you to know that he told me he did not tell me I'm coming tomorrow. He did not tell me he's coming next year. He did not tell me when he's coming. But he did tell me I'm coming soon. It reminds me of a man called Noah. That's why I told you, don't give up on the Old Testament. Please, whatever you do, do not give up on the Old Testament. Go to the Old Testament and see the things that took place. The Old Testament is a type and shadow of the new. Right. Okay? That's real. I need you to understand that. Yeah, that's real. I need you to understand that the Word of God says that just as in the day of Noah. <laughs> Come on. Just as in the day of Noah, so shall the end of the days be. Uh -huh, but they gonna be worse. Do you understand what was taking place back then? Back then, it was now. Right. All right, y'all ready for this? Now. If you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Oh my God. That's just, just, just a distraction. Right. Because God knows what's going on right now. Right. 
But the Satan knows what's going on right now. He knows that you are in the midst of making the most powerful decision in life. Now listen carefully. Listen carefully. There's only one voice being heard right now in the name of Jesus. We take authority over that in Jesus' name. Now listen carefully. If God has spoken to you today, and you know that you have denied Christ at some point, and you have not gotten it straight, I want you to come on up here and deal with it.